Hi, it's Liz Needham. Let's have a look at Level 1 Comparison Investigations and forming a conclusion using the DBM and OVS rule. So this is particularly useful when we have got secondary data and you've taken a sample size of 100 per group or 1,000 per group. So those are what we want to refer to. So to answer our question, these are the different things that we need. So we need a categorical and numeric variables, the word tens, the direction, and the population. So you'll have your investigation question, so you can use that as a basis to help you get the wording right. So the DBM and OVS. So DBM stands for the difference between the means, and OVS stands for the overall visual spread. And so these are the two things that we want to compare. So the difference between the medians, we're looking at whichever is the larger median, subtract that from the smaller median. So we're finding out how different they are. In terms of the overall visual spread, we were looking for the smallest lower quartile and the biggest upper quartile. And we want the distance between those two things. So if we've got a sample size of around 100 in each group, then and we've got enough evidence, so there will be enough evidence if the DBM is more than one-fifth of the OVS. Now what we would do visually is we would take the DBM, and it's the bar on the left hand side, and you can see how I've made four more copies of this. And I want to compare that distance to the OVS line. And so that's now, if you look at the DBM, I've got five of them, so we're looking to see whether that is equivalent, or which one's bigger or smaller. If I have a sample size of around a thousand in each group, then we will use the fraction one-tenth to find if there's enough evidence. So we're looking to see, is the DBM more than one-tenth of the OVS? So what I've done here is I've taken that DBM um, and I've made nine copies of it, so that there's ten copies in total. And I want to compare that to the OVS to see whether um, which one's bigger. And I'm looking for enough evidence if I've got more if the DBM times ten is more than the OVS. So here's an example from our Kiwi investigation. We're looking at so the graph has already been drawn with the DBM and OVS on it. What I'm doing is I'm now making four copies of that so that our five different um, DBMs that are exactly the same size. And what we're doing is we're comparing that to the OVS. And in this case we can say yes, there is enough evidence that um, the one group tends to be bigger than the other group. Let's have a look at a different, very, a different way to present the evidence of that. Is I can also go and calculate my DBM by finding the median, so finding the largest median, and so I've highlighted that both on the graph and on the summary statistics. Make sure that you use MED for median, not the mean. Then I'm going to go and find the lower median, and I'm going to subtract those two. So when I subtract those differences, that gives me 0 0.592 kg. Now to calculate the OVS, I'm going to find the biggest upper quartile and the low, smallest lower quartile. And so those are the values I've highlighted there in green. And I subtract those to find that difference. So there's my overall visual spread. Now what I want to do is I want to find one-fifth of the overall visual spread. So I'm taking that overall visual spread, the green one, 1.1065, and I'm multiplying that by one-fifth. And that gives me a value of 0.2213. So what I'm going to do to decide if I have enough evidence is I'm going to take that DBM and say, is the DBM bigger or more than one-fifth of the OVS? And we can see in this case, yes, the value of 0 0.592, that is more than one-fifth, which is the 0.2213. So I'd come to the same conclusion. I have enough evidence to be able to um, say that one group tends to be bigger than the other. A third method that we can use is we can do a comparison, a ratio. So I can do the DBM divided by the OVS. 
and so when I do that I get a ratio of 0 0.5350. Now I'm going to compare that value to 1 fifth. So when I do 1 fifth as a decimal it's 0 0.2 and I'm going to look to see is that value bigger or smaller than the 1 fifth value and it's bigger than the 1 fifth so therefore again I have enough evidence to be able to make the call. So there's three different ways of being able to find the evidence for this and you can choose any one of those that you prefer. So when we come to write our answer up this is what we would do. I've got enough evidence that the female kiwi birds tend to be heavier than the males for all kiwis in New Zealand. Now let's just do a double check that that's got everything we need to have. So it's got the, um, the conclusion, I've got enough evidence. I've compared the females and the males, so I've got my categorical variable. I've talked about which one's heavier, so I've got both the direction and the um, numeric variable, which is weight. And then I've got the population for all Kiwis in New Zealand. So that would be our conclusion. To pick up evidence of this, this is where we can say I can make the call or I have enough evidence because, and that's when you would refer to one of those forms of evidence that we just looked at. So there's those three different formulas. You can do it visually, you can do it by calculating one fifth of the OVS, or you can do it by calculating it as a ratio. So any three of those would we find as as reasoning, and that's what you would need to write up there. Thanks for watching.